loved it. off his scorpion kick again. Here we go.
win. I am absolutely buzzing with that. Um, some of the best football I've ever seen Rovers play in about a decade of going now. Um, you know, not as long as uh, a lot of fans, I'm sure. But yeah, since since relegation from the Prem, I have to say that is probably the best football I've seen us play today and against Leicester. Um, we've just played two Premier League teams. You know, I, I do think Sheffield United are Premier League quality. Um, and obviously Leicester are. We, we've just played two Premier League teams off the park uh, for 90 minutes. You know, Sheffield United, they had the chances today. They could have quite easily scored a goal, in truth. Um, but I don't think there's any Sheffield United fan who could sit there and say they deserved a point today. Um, we were absolutely brilliant. The goal was nothing short of sensational. A proper team goal on the transition. Sorba Thomas beats his man. Plays, I think it was Trav through on the right-hand side or Smodix, one or the other. Beautiful ball and then, you know, gets to Dolan. Dolan to Pickering and what a strike for a left-back. Got a proper left peg on him, hasn't he? And, you know... A good few goals for us in, you know, a couple of seasons from left back. Can't complain. And, you know, we needed other players stepping up massively um, to cover for Dak being out, Diaz being out, and we're doing that. And we're grinding through these results. You know, our goal difference is quite poor, really, for where we are, which, you know, obviously isn't ideal because it would have only took, you know, a goal today off, you know, something fluky and we're in the end going to be quite disappointed because, you know, we've played brilliantly, but we've come away with only a point. Um, we definitely deserved that win today and thank God we got it. Um, nail biting stuff at the end, really. But I, I, you know, I said after the Leicester game how important it was to get this win today to give us that mental edge as well, which I feel like we will get now heading into that quarter-final. You know, it is at Bramall Lane, so they have that for them, obviously. But, you know, we play like that at Bramall Lane. I, obviously, I can't see us playing like that at Bramall Lane because we are where the dynamic of the game is going to be different. But a lot of today, we didn't really have the ball due to us being 1-0 up and due to Sheffield United's quality. They are a better team on paper than we are. But on the transition, which if we get those moments at Bramall Lane, we can punish them and that was there to be seen. There was definitely a couple more goals we should have had today. Uh, some absolutely brilliant pieces of play and I think it's just finally clicked, the style of play for the boys. You know, it's took, you know, three quarters of a season, but this is the, <laughs> this is the business end of the season and if you want to be hitting form and you want to be clicking, it's now... This is usually the periods under Marbury where it'd all fall apart and we'd be ending the season rather disappointed. Just look at Sunderland, they've lost 5-1 today. At home to Alex Neil Stoke, obviously those Sunderland fans, Sunderland fans are going to be nothing short of fuming. But we had our wobble after the Burnley game. I think that knocked the stuffing out of us. You know, Obviously, I think there was a bit of a hangover coming after the World Cup with the Preston game, you know, obviously was nothing short of embarrassing those two games. And right, well, not rightly so, but obviously rightly rightly so fans were pissed off. But I were going to say rightly so fans were wanting JDT out, but, you know, you have these bad days and they were very bad days. Don't get me wrong, I was there for both games. Um, but, we, you know, we've stuck by him as we should. We've given him time and this is absolutely amazing, the football we're playing. If we play like this from now till the end of the season, there's absolutely no reason we can't even make second place. If we play like this from now till the end of the season, a playoff spot is guaranteed. Um, but, you know, I can't believe I'm even saying this, considering, you know, it was a month ago I was going to Rotherham away and watching us get battered uh, 3-0 or 4-0, four, four whatever it was. I can't even remember now. I've tried to block that game out of my head. Um, you know, one of the worst games I've, I've ever seen us play. And now I'm saying, sitting there saying, this is some of the best football I've ever seen us play. Um, 
it's it's just the transitions it's the one touch two touch it's passing at the right times it's the high speed and we're no longer knocking it about at the back you know pass 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 we didn't have any of that today um and we can't play that way it doesn't suit us we may have to play that way occasionally when we're at home against a Wigan against a Blackpool control the game but the good thing against Blackpool was we got that early goal which we needed and you know you can then afford to pass it round the back but obviously as we saw against Wigan if a team does come to Ewood and tries and frustrates us as we probably will see soon with the likes of Reading and whatnot it's breaking them down um you know, it's all well and good sitting behind the ball like we did today, seeing a game out. We're good at that. We can do it. You know, our goal difference proves we can win these 1-0 games, 2-1 um, games. You know, the last time we won by three goals was Rotherham at home, what was months ago at this point. Um, but, you know, just it, it's unbelievable to think we're playing this well without Dak and Diaz. Um, we're playing as a team. We're not relying on any individuals. I think Diaz is rightly on the bench. You know he hasn't scored since Huddersfield at home, I believe, in the league. Um, and rightfully so. Dolan is playing out his skin on the left hand side. He will be our main man next year if we weren't to go up. If we were to go up to the Prem, you know I'm not getting ahead of myself, but it might be a different story. But if we weren't to go up, he will definitely be our main man next year, Dole. And he's really come into his own now. He's he's matured. His performances have matured. He's added goals to his game. And, you know, he's easily a, a, a five to eight million pound player right now. You've got a feeling we'll only keep getting better. Um, and I can see him. I can see us selling him for a good 20 odd million sum in, in the coming years. Um you know, I'll just run through all the players. Pears, brilliant, faultless, uh, passing out the back, his long range kicking, faultless. You know, had to make a couple saves. I got one on clip um, of higher um, <laughs> trying to recreate his scorpion kick for an on goal, and it's a quick reaction save. There is absolutely no reason why he should be dropped when Kaminsky's back. He has been 10 out of 10 in every single game he's played. Hopefully when Kaminsky's back, he doesn't start to feel pressure and his performances slip because obviously there is no pressure on him right now. Um, but, you know, hopefully he keeps you up. Ranking still, I'm so happy that it was, you know, only a niggle and he got, got took off for Leicester for just a niggle back into the team today. Played out his skin, fighting for his contract. I said to my mate, I feel like we should maybe hold off on giving him the contract until the end of the season. You know, you don't want to give him that contract and it for some, for whatever reason makes him drop that 1-2% uh, because he's, he's clearly fighting for his contract right now. You can see it in his performances. He's playing out of his skin. He's took his opportunity and he deserves to be in this team. Hyam and Carter, such complete performances. Carter in particular, some of the passing he was doing today was ridiculous. He and I, I tweeted this out the other night. He has every claim to be right now our best centre half. Um, you know that he has to be starting next year, in my opinion. He's he's just brilliant. He's better than Wharton, um, and you know it's hard to really pick between him, Hyam, and Ayala right now. Um, but like I said, there's every right that he, you know, if I was to say he's the best centre-half we have, I don't think anyone could say I was silly for saying that. Pickering, obviously, a ridiculous goal from a tight angle. Played well today um, in, in terms of his defending duties as well. There was a couple of times Sander Berg was on him. He was moving into the midfield, as was Costello, which is another interesting bit of our play we've started to see recently where the full-backs are dropping into midfield, uh, only one of them, and we're kind of going to a back three when we have the ball and moving Costello to like the edge of the box or pick her into the edge of the box. It's quite interesting to see that. That has been one of the changes. Travis, back with his usual uh, shit house, sorry. Um, and again, like Joe Rankin, Costello has just stepped up massively and it's it, that has been another reason why our form has picked up because Travis has stu has found his feet again and is putting in 10 out of 10 performances back to back to back at the minute. I think he needed that wake-up call and he's had it. 
He knows he's expendable. He knows he's not just going to get a free ride in the team um, just because he's the captain. And, you know, he's he's fought for his place and I just hope he carries on because he, he's playing like the Trav we all know and love and he's also been braver. He's trying things. He's trying riskier passes. He's not being so safe, which is what this team needs when we're playing on the transition. You have to take a risk to get the reward ultimately. We can't just be knocking it side by side. And that was what Trav was just doing, uh, just playing it too safe. And he's been brilliant. John Buckley was great today, got stuck in. Um, and that that was another thing. The the game today was such a brilliant game. Uh, the players getting stuck into each other, putting hard hitting challenges in. You could tell that both teams knew how important this game was. Like I said, for the mental edge going into that quarter final, but also we have a playoff spot to fight for. We could potentially catch these up, like I said, and get into second place. You know, we're only a good few points behind them now. If, and, you know, like I said, if we carry on playing like this, there's absolutely no reason we couldn't be going for an automatic spot. Don't want to get ahead of myself because, you know, it, it, it is a sudden... I, I can't expect us to play like this week in, week out, but it has been brilliant. Um, Tyrese Dolan, brilliant today. Smodic, brilliant today. Gallagher worked, worked his socks off, as he always does. And Sober Thomas, my God, what a player. Apologies, just had to cut the video there. Um, yeah, Sober Thomas, just as responsible for the goal as Harry Pickering was, really. You know, like I mentioned, you have to be brave on the transition if you're going to get any rewards from it. You can't go with the safe option. And him beating his man on the edge of his box, um, you know, waiting for the key moment to play the pass was just sublime. Um, absolutely brilliant. And yeah, just a quality player which we must sign, um, even if we're in the Prem. Uh, you know, I could see him doing a job in the Prem, to be honest, he's playing that well. Just his ability with that right foot to find the right cross each and every time is just something we've lacked. And my friend compared him to Craig Conway on the right. You know, obviously Conway played on the left and was right footed. But Craig Conway had a magical uh, wand of a foot, then they always putting those crosses onto Gestead's head. Um, you know, if we had Rudy Gestead, prime Rudy Gestead in that box, you know, you could just see Thomas and him combining. He'd absolutely love him. And yeah, if you know, if we were to get a sort of target man, because you know Gallagher's doing well right now. Don't get me wrong, but if we could get a real presence in that box who can use his body and his head. Um, a, a target man essentially, which Gallagher isn't, uh, despite having all the physical attributes. Um, you know, the, he could just work wonders with that. You know, he he doesn't really offer goals to the team. You know, you look at his career; he's only scored a handful of goals. Um, I think it's like four his entire career. But in terms of his assisting ability and what he brings, the pass before the pass, um just second to none and absolutely brilliant player and you know I was saying Dolan before could be our main man if we were to sign him there's absolutely no reason why he couldn't be our main man um, you know obviously it didn't seem like he was too interested in being in a relegation fight this season which isn't exactly ideal you know you don't really want a player who's only going to play when he wants to play but you know he's playing for us right now he's playing like he's our player not playing like he's a loan player and uh, at this moment in time, anyway, is an absolute brilliant signing. And um, just glad we made the right signing there. Um, yeah, so just top notch today. Uh, top notch from the fans as well. The atmosphere was bouncing today. I think the, uh, the fans could really tell it was a big game and got really behind the team because, you know, we are playing so brilliantly, brilliantly right now. And they're giving back to the players. And I think the fans can tell they're playing out their skins right now. Um, so, yeah, long may it continue. And uh, just, a, just a note on, obviously, the O'Brien uh, dispute has come to an end. We haven't managed to get in, which I think was a foregone conclusion, but it weren't going to happen. No team has appealed and ever won. So, yeah, I, 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 it'll, it'll be something when that does eventually happen. But apparently with... Wasted a couple hundred grand in in that pursuit. Um, it's very sloppy, and 
I do believe someone needs firing for that mishap. Um, you know, for a professional club in the second tier of English football and with the, the heritage we have in the game, it looks amateur and it isn't ideal. And we've missed out on a quality player. Just thank God Travis has stepped up um, because, you know, if Travis hadn't stepped up, we would have really missed O'Brien. But thankfully, Travis has stepped up. And as of right now, it doesn't really look like we need him. But, you know, Travis could go off the boil or Buckley or, you know, whatnot. And we, we could be kicking ourselves and it could cost us a playoff spot. Um, who knows? But, yeah, as of right now, just... Absolutely brilliant. Uh, going to that Stoke away game, confident. I feel like it's a game, even though they've just gone and beat Sunderland 5-1 away from home, it's a game I feel like we can win. Um, I'd be disappointed to come away with a draw in truth. I don't feel like they're an amazing side, but you know, if I was to take a, go a, a draw on a cold Friday night at the Britannia, or the Bet365 stadium, as it's now called, you know, it wouldn't be the worst result by any means, but we cannot lose. Um, I feel like it should suit us. We, we probably, we'll probably have more of the ball than them uh, at 0 nil, I would think, but obviously it's not going to be Ewood v Stoke, is it? Uh, where they would just sit back and we would have all the ball. So it should be a 50 50 game, but we have the quality and we should punish them and be putting them to the sword. Um, and yeah, let's just take it one game at a time, I suppose. Uh, but brilliant today. And uh, yeah, let's hope for more on Friday night on Sky again. Um, but yeah, they definitely got more than they bargained for. Anyone who tuned into that Sky game today, tackles flying and just a brilliant 1-0 win. Um, and yeah, like the BBC commentators were saying against Leicester, we don't look out of place uh, right now to be challenging for, for the Prem. And if we were playing like this in the Prem, I feel like we could give any team a game, <laughs> um, you know, maybe not Man City or Arsenal, but the other teams, you know, bring it on. So yeah, let let's hope this continues, and uh, yeah, on to on to Friday.